Where's uh, Uber now, darling? Oh, just down here. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Down here. Okay, good, good. Yeah, so an Uber is a taxi as well. Oh. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, I'm not quite sure if that really is appropriate. Um, but anyway, so we're, we're off to Bangkok. Uh, we had... Um, We've had uh, like a lot of rain last night uh, and the roads are absolutely... Oh, I'm going to get in first time. Okay, right on. Uh, yeah, so we've had a lot of rain last night. And, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so we had a lot of rain last night. There's something like uh, eight inches of rain or 200 millimeters of rain uh, in the center of Bangkok. Um, most of the roads are flooded and I'm meeting somebody at the MBK at 2 p.m. this afternoon. Uh, I'm going to be pressed for time. But hey, this is what happens in Bangkok uh, and it's the rainy season, so this is what we got. But don't forget that there's a little um, the subscribe button down here. You know, I always keep forgetting to remind people that if you're new to the channel, there's a subscribe button. Right, and don't forget, you know, just uh, when you hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell thing that's that's it's in there, um, because that'll send you an email uh, to tell me to tell you that uh, there's a new upload. Uh, keep track of what's going on. <laughs> this is just how soy. Look at the look at the water on the road just here, and it hasn't rained for like eight hours. Uh, so it's just been like. Uh, I think it's quite funny that uh, you know, the Thai government is telling us, you know, quite explicitly the fact that no, we will not have the same reoccurrence of the floods in 2011. Um, but <laughs> we are getting a lot of rain, <laughs> I tell you. I think uh, uh, the government is not a weather bureau. Um, I get a feeling we're going to have a similar sort of situation um, to what we had. Um, in 2011. Um, but we'll keep you posted about that one, that's for certain. The joys of uh, Bangkok uh, in, the, in the rainy season. Yeah, well, I've had uh, 8 inches or 200 millimetres of rain in the last 24 hours. And this is what you get. There's a lot of fun navigating your way around Bangkok without getting your feet wet. Welcome. Welcome to Bangkok. Welcome. Oh my god. Have to acrobat. Welcome beach in the Bangkok. Welcome to the beach in Bangkok, yes. Yes, it's very nice. <laughs> Why are you not bring swimming costume, darling? Uh, maybe uh, I want more water. Oh, you want more water? Yeah. yeah. I think we go MBK by surfboard, okay? Can you save me? Yeah. Yes, I can. I can save you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so at oh. least we don't have to worry about water with the BTS. That would be some flooding to flood the BTS, no, I tell you. I, I save you. It's okay. <laughs> well, here we are at uh, the National Stadium BTS, which is the end of the line on the Ceylon line. And just in front of us is the MBK Centre. It's one of the bigger shopping sort of complexes in the centre of Bangkok. It's not so salubrious as uh, um, the one up the road there in the Siam. Um, this is more like the middle class shopping centre of Bangkok. And we're one level up. I said we'd meet him uh, downstairs, so we'll go in and go down. So I said we'd meet uh, Brian here at the north end of the uh, uh, ground floor on the MBK Centre. Um, now it's just a matter of finding him. Uh, I know we're about five to ten minutes late given the traffic conditions. He shouldn't be that hard to spot. Uh, he should be sitting in a wheelchair somewhere around here, so it's just a matter of finding him. And here he comes in his, in his four-wheel jalopy. There we go. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Oh, how are you? Ed, this is my lovely girl, Shania. Yeah. This one here's Brian. Prettiest girl in the place. That's what I was looking for. The prettiest girl in the place. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 
<laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it might be a bit of competition. This is MBK. <laughs> Uh, we're on the record. I have to be careful what I say now. Yeah, you have to be careful. You have to, uh, you know, like I know we're two Aussies, you know, and we've been around a bit. Yeah. Well, I have to, have, have to when we're talking, just. But it, but it is a family-friendly channel. Do on the record, off the record stuff. Yeah. <laughs> And of course, just a bit of background, I've only just recently sort of bumped into uh, Brian on our uh, tile and desk forum. That's yes. how we linked up, yeah, so that was... I've, I've been lurking around Yeah, your for a couple of weeks, so, yeah, so he's, well, he's been, he's been sort of, you know, uh, what do you call it, um, trolling my channel for a while. <laughs> <laughs> but we met up through the Thailand desk, uh, which is another great thing about you know, being able to make contact with people. Um, so, you know, we're going to take a look around MBK before we get a bite to eat and, uh, and uh, talk about all things Aussie. Catch up time. Catch up time, yeah. I mean to get a couple of uh, new caps. Of course, I can't find what I want at the markets, so I'm having it made up. Yeah, a little bit more expensive, 450 baht per cap, um, but it's got something very, very unique written on it. And all the Aussies that I know that have subscribed to the channel now I know what it means. Okay, so for you, like, get off, take the hammer off. And here's the new one. Yeah. That's for all my channel haters. What do you think? Awesome. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent! And if you know what I mean, you'll have to just do some research on, on YouTube, guys. You'll find it soon enough. But I'm going to wear this today anyway. I think that just says it all. That's great. That's good, yeah. The gold on black, good call. 450 baht, yeah? yeah? So 900 baht for two. So she's been on my case about getting a panda t shirt. Oh. <laughs> you want to buy me? Yep. I think good. You like this one? XL, no? XL or you want L? You want L. Lots of window shopping in uh, MBK and uh, we're just uh, having a bit of a chat. I've never really sort of, you know, cruised around a shopping centre before with somebody who has a, a, a obviously a mobility disability. Um, and it's really quite surprising how how much you don't think about, you know, the placements of elevators uh, and things like that, you know. It's actually quite a challenge. Um, and uh, it's just second nature to him, but uh, for me, I tell you what, uh, now I can appreciate more about how Andy is when he's over here uh, cruising Bangkok. Um, I think Andy's already gone back to the UK now, hasn't he? Alright. Oh, uh, okay. But um, yeah, it is a bit of a challenge trying to sort of do the whole, um, you know, getting into lifts and everything else like that because you just can't jump on an elevator, an escalator. Yeah, and it... yeah so he's, he's bought himself his little uh, GoPro, what's it, what's it, Black Session, isn't it's it? It's uh, Session, yeah. session yeah. Black. Uh, and, uh... Yeah, they, they are so small these days, aren't they? It's not on. <laughs> yeah, but one of the things you were sort of saying is he gets a bit of um, uh, what they call a drum beating noise. Uh, it's got a, it's got image stabilisation, but um, the things sort of, when you're recording, it's uh, recording audio as well, and it bounces as he goes over sort of corrugations in the in the floor, uh, even a, even a small gap. You know, like these little, these you know, tile gaps here, which is like a couple of millimeters. Noise like train tracks. It makes a train track noise, yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be a bit of fun, but yeah, he's been looking for a um, a gimbal. So there's one there, 4,200 baht, 160 dollars. The wheelchair I view. <laughs> <laughs> which you've got to be careful with that down there, you know. It's like, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure. Lots of trouble with that. Um, yeah, well, that's the I mean. They, they could be sort of, you know, some people sort of, you know, a bit suspicious yeah, about, bit you know, what you what you're trying to do there. But fucking you, it's not, not like you have anywhere else to to rig it. I couldn't yeah. even rig anything up over my shoulder because it would get him eroded. Yeah, oh, the only thing I could suggest is a is a helmet, but then that looks a bit silly, doesn't it? Running around with a helmet with this, this thing I mean, on the head. The beauty of that is it's incon it's more inconspicuous. Yeah. I mean, I could make something that. You know, bounce up there. Yeah. And that's not inconspicuous anymore. It's just somebody it's just, else wandering around with the camera. That's it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we just stopped off at, uh, well, having afternoon tea lunch here. That's my shout this time. Um, and um, what's the name of the restaurant we're at? It's uh, Bong Chong Chicken. Bong Chong Chicken up on the sixth floor here at MBK. Uh, quite a nice looking place. And the food 
Uh, we got some fish, we got some chicken, goiza, um, pork, uh, rice. It's, yeah, it looks, it looks absolutely wonderful. I'll tell you how that goes. What do you reckon? Uh, it looks. <laughs> Do you think we can fit this all in? It's awesome. Right, yeah. yeah. Presentation anyway, is amazing. bon appetit. If it tastes as good as it looks, it'll be great. <laughs> Yeah, so we've had our had our lunch and we are absolutely full. Before we ordered too much. I thought that the chicken pieces were going to come through as as like chicken nuggets as size pieces. They were pretty much half breast chickens. <laughs> I ordered ten of them. Oh my god. Anyway, so we're going to take a bit more of a wander around here. Give you a bit of a shot. It's just a it, Sunday just loves these sort of places, as you know. Um, yes, Ray, we're doing another. Um, a video of a, a mall somewhere, but that's what she loves doing. And thanks for the shout out too, Ray. And anybody who haven't noticed, uh, Ray's back on the uh, Ray. That's Ray Cowboy in Thailand. Uh, he's back uh, doing his vlogs, uh, covering all the Thailand um, uh, vloggers and what's going on in Thailand. Um, uh, good to see you back in good health there, Ray. And uh, good chatting to you last night too, buddy. Uh, keep up the good work. Yeah, so we're just saying, like you know, we're in the on, on this level here. This is the the the, the boys the boys level uh, with all the mobile phones and all the bits and pieces that you can get around there. And this is uh, I think the fourth floor. It's a lot of fun. Um, we'll go down one more floor. This is where we'll get something for Shania. She's looking for a new dress. But of course, we've got the both the, the two of us have got the Note Apes. Um, and the one thing about the Note is so new, we haven't seen the inflight of all the different case options and we just asked the guy to go and have a look at, you know, what sort of, what sort of options you've got for cases we can have a look at them. And so he's just going around and... Say hello. Yeah, hi. hi. <laughs> and you too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, so he's just going to run out to another store, pick up a whole bunch of cases that we can have a look at. Uh, but yeah, so we're only just looking around. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that make the phone look very sexy? Gold trim, gold edge with a gold Note 8 phone. I think I like that one. What do you think, darling? You think good? I think good. Yeah? I might have that one. Looks sexy. Yeah, it looks, it looks sexy. That's what, Exactly, it looks sexy. Looks very high, so... It's okay. Mm-hmm. So with all the water we've got in, in Bangkok at the moment, how about one of these things? I think I could take one of these things home. What do you reckon? Eh? Yeah? I reckon we can get a bit of a wave going up in uh, some of the side soys, you know? Uh, towing along from, from the back of a car or a motorcycle on a surfboard, take the fin off. Surfing the wake of a tuk-tuk. <laughs> Surfing the wake of a tuk-tuk, yeah, yeah. What a great idea. I got to put that one, to, put one there, put that one out there, see what we can do, eh? Wave, wave boarding behind the tuk-tuk. <laughs> you want to go down more? Okay, no problem, we follow you. Okay, follow you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was just saying, though, this is just scratching the surface. We've been here, what's it, four hours? And yeah. like, we've been from level six down to level one and you know, done a loop, but we really haven't even scratched the surface. Uh, I got a t-shirt, a phone case, Sonia got some shoes. There's a midget behind you there. There's a midget behind us, yeah, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but it's all good. Maybe I'd put the camera on the sideways there so we're all, it's all level on the camera there. Um, anyway, look, um, we're about to head off. You know, like MBK, if you're going to come out to MBK, you need to allow at least six hours to get around this place. Because um, uh, you're going to want some food at some stage. But uh, I'll, I'll make sure I put a link down below for, you know, where MBK is, if you're not familiar with it. It's on the end of the Ceylon line, you know, getting off the National Stadium. Um, it's a great sort of afternoon sort of, you know, shopping experience. And don't forget to take your girl with you because she usually loves it. And she is so sad, she not find a dress. You not find a dress? Why not? Okay, looks like we'd be going to Platinum Fashion Mall next. No, it's only, what, only a week away for the funeral? The funeral's only, how long before the funeral? Ten days. Ten days? Yeah, she's got ten days to get a dress for the funeral. Oh my God. My poor baby. I think she's ready now. 
Not Vardy. Not Vardy? Not Vardy? 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 Yep. Anyway, so here we go. Say bye bye to everybody. All three of us in the one shot. Bye bye. <laughs> bye now. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> well, that's the thing. The other thing we got at MBK. Uh, I had my original veneers done here. So we're just going to pop back in. And uh, this is the place we had it done at before. Betty Smile. Uh, in at MBK. Uh, I still don't know whether we'll want to get it done here. Uh, I just want to get a brochure, get an idea of pricing. I don't want massage darling, I want to get nice for all they were twelve but that's twelve thousand baht, oh my god. Special, yeah, nine thousand baht, yeah. So I know she does a pretty good job. They service uh, the um, the Ferran community very well. But I'm looking for somewhere a bit closer to home. I don't want to be running in because the whole veneer process takes in a minimum of two visits. Uh, and I don't want to get it all done at once. So you know, I want to probably get you know, four teeth done, get that all settled in, then come back you know, you know, and then do another four teeth and get that settled in because like, it, it's very uncomfortable running the, the temporary amalgam caps for, you know, for a couple of weeks while the, you know, the porcelain veneers are done. Um, can be quite uncomfortable and they break very, very easily. So it you know, means you, you, you don't get to eat with as much enjoyment. But uh, let's just go and just check to see how she is placed and we'll take from there. Well that's the main thing, we don't get into a bank hog that often so there's always a whole bunch of things you want to be doing. Um, so you've got to make the most of it when you're here. Now we just did a, we're back on the fifth floor. Uh, this is an afterthought after we said goodbye uh, to Brian because I didn't really want to have him sort of track all the way back up on the fifth floor and then all the way back down to the, to the ground level to, to sit in a taxi rank. So. We said our goodbyes, um, came back up, got the brochure. Hopefully we'll be able to find a dentist a bit closer. Uh, that price isn't too bad uh, for porcelain veneers, but um, it is something that's been on my hit list for a couple of years. Um, every one of my trips that I've done up until moving here meant the fact that it was pretty much, you need to book in advance, uh, get out there because the veneer process takes a couple of weeks to actually have the veneer sculpted properly. Uh, and if you're only coming out for a two week visit, just you have to cut it fine. So now that uh, we're permanently based here, it does make it a bit easier um, to, uh, to plan. And we've got a, there's the escalator here, down, 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 down. Yeah, makes it a bit easier to work out the, the timing um, so that we can actually do the thing properly. But as I said, you know, more than likely I'll get four teeth done one month. I can fit that into the budget, then wait a month. And then probably do another four teeth to re redo all the uh, veneers that I've got at the moment. Uh, probably a bit of laser whitening as well. Um, and uh, I'm sure I've got a few cavities there somewhere that I need to probably do. And they are so elegant when they do that. But it's all part of the process. Anyway, guys, um, just careful when we get on the lift, get on the escalator. We'll say goodbye now and see you again. Bye bye. See you again, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye.